to have a look at mathematical operations. I mean, what mathematical operations can we do on the number line? So, we study the mathematical operations. Now let's start with the first one. I mean the most common uh, operation that we have is addition. So before that let's just make a number line. Okay and uh, also denote it with numbers. So we start because there's a whole number so we start it with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10 and it could go on like this. So we have this whole number line which is shown here. Now the first thing that we would like to try is addition of two numbers. So we'll be trying addition of two whole numbers on a on this number line. So let's say I, I take an example of I want to add 2 and 5. So how do I depict this operation on the number line? So since it says we have to add 2, so we start from 2. Let me change the color. We will be taking in, let's take uh, orange. Okay, so we start from this, since there's a first number 2 here, so we start from 2. That's it, so we, we start from 2 and now it's saying add 5 to it. So we start moving in unit directions one by one. So from 2, this is 1 and we'll move this time 5 times. 2, 3, 4 and 5. So we have moved 5 unit distances towards the right hand side. Towards the right hand side. So, so when I move come here, I get the uh, I'm, I'm here at the number 7. So 2 plus 5 equals 7. Or let us just write here 2 plus 5 equals 7. You can do other additions as well. For example, if it is told for you to do, let's say, uh, another addition is, let's say, 9 plus 1. So in that case, we start with 9, move 1 unit, and it comes out to be 10, which is 10. I mean, this is quite an obvious addition, but it is just a way to demonstrate how do we add numbers on the number line. Now having discussed the addition of numbers, let us try to understand another operation which is the subtraction. Again in this case we will be using the number line for subtraction. So first let us draw a number line. And we do draw a number line over here. and we also need to denote it with the numbers so we will just write the numbers as we did earlier and I'm just restricting myself till 10 just to make it simpler and faster so that we don't end up uh, having time okay so now let us try the other addition for example a sample addition is what happens if I subtract 5 from 7 how do we do this thing on the number line so in this case, we'll again take the color orange. So now we have 7 minus 5. So we first start with the first number. In this case, it is 7. Now since I have to remove 5 out of it, okay, so we will be traveling towards the left-hand side. And that will be my unit distance. So I start 5 times. 1, 2, 3, sorry for that, 4, and Five. So when I travel 5 unit distances, I am ending up at the number 2. And we know, therefore, that 7 minus 5 equals 2. Now, and one thing which you have to observe here in respect to the number line for whole numbers is what happens if you are trying to subtract a bigger number than the original number. For example, if you are trying to do 2 minus 3. So in that case, you would start with 2 and then you would have to travel three unit distances towards the left. So one, two. But now you don't have any space for this. So we, we will actually be exploring this in detail. So two minus three is not possible to do on a whole number line at the moment. Okay, so that's just something which I wanted to let you know at this moment is an observation. 
Now let's try the third operation. The third operation would be multiplication. Multiplication on the number line and for this we will first draw the line again as we did earlier. So I just need to draw the line with the color and oops, it's gone a bit. Okay, and then we also need to give the numbers. So I'll just write the numbers here: zero, one, two, three, four. fourteen and so on. Now we'll try a sample multiplication of let's say uh, two times six. So how, how, how do we do this multiplication on the number line? So what we have to do is we have to replicate the number two six times on the number line. So what will be the answer? So now again what we do for this is we start from zero and now we'll be jumping in steps of two, six times. That's what, so we come here. This is the first step, second, third jump, fourth jump, fifth jump, and sixth jump. So we ended up at 12. So we can say that two multiplied by six equals 10, 12. I mean, we do know what is the answer of it. Uh, answer of 2 by 6 is equal to 12, 12. But this is just to depict the multiplication operation using the number line. So, uh, this is what we have discussed about the number lines. Uh, uh, let me just quickly summarize what we discussed about the number line. We first saw, I mean, we first introduced the concept of a number line. Then we discussed the two properties of number line. The first one is the distance between any two adjacent numbers on a number line is one unit and the other is number on numbers on the right hand side of a number line will be greater than the selected number and those on the left hand side will be smaller than the selected number and then we also saw how to do addition, subtraction and multiplication using the number lines. So see you soon in the next session.